Hello, this is Martin Brossman. Playlist can be visible in public or unlisted. And this is an important piece to understand. Uh, this came up working with someone today where the business had a lot of videos they wanted not visible to their competition, but accessible for their clients. So they had uploaded the videos on YouTube and made them unlisted which we talk about in the class. And unlisted means we get a nice URL, you can share it with the client, and then they can see it. But unless you have that unique link, they're not going to be visible. But when I went to their site and clicked the word playlist and looked at it, I went, they're all here. And they didn't know why. They said we had made them unlisted, but they were visible on playlist. Well, this is because... The videos were unlisted, but the playlist were public. So I want to show where you set that up. We'll take an example here. Let's take Ecamm Live Resources. These are just resources I find. Uh, I work with Ecamm and we work with it with clients. And I'm going to make that not visible. So do you see right here? I'm looking at the page. I click from videos to playlist. Now let's go into the back area. So we'll go into... YouTube Studio, YouTube Studio, and then in YouTube Studio, we'll click Playlist on the left. See Playlist right here on the left, Playlist, and then we'll go down and look for Ecamm Live. There we are, Ecamm Live on page two, and I click the little pencil here, Ecamm Live. See how it says over here, Public? You see that, Public? Click the pencil, and then when I'm in here, look right under the title. See, Ecamm Live Resources. And, you know, as you know in the class, you don't, you can include things in a playlist that aren't on your site. Really nice to help people out. And then I'll click public and the down arrow and I can switch it to unlisted. Unlisted. When I click to unlisted, this can be a little confusing because there's no like save button here. So annoying. Sometimes they have saved, sometimes they don't. Go back and look at the channel. And then from here, we'll look at playlist and go over and I'll do a refresh. And it's unlisted is visible to me. But if I then go in and grab this playlist and I'm going to go over to incognito incognito so it's signed out as me and we look at the page and we scroll down and you notice it's no longer here see how it's not here anymore it's no longer here and then for your own satisfaction we'll close incognito and go back let's go to that playlist again and go into YouTube studio go over here on the left and see playlist and click it and then go to that location. We go over here. See how it says Ecamm Live right there? Unlisted. Let's open this up. And then we can grab this little share. Click that. That's the URL for this. And the way we can make... I like doing this to make sure I did everything correct. Now take that URL, go into Incognito... Right now, incognito, paste it in, and what shows up is there's the playlist. So this is something I could share with my clients and say, here, go look at this. You start working with me, go over this playlist, but it's not visible to the world because I have both the videos here as unlisted and I have the playlist as unlisted. Quick review here. Remember, you want to make sure each one of the videos are labeled as unlisted. And then you want to also make sure that the playlist is unlisted. And then from that, they'll still be able to see it if you go here and grab the share URL and share it with somebody. This completes this tutorial. Make sure to click subscribe and the bell to see future ones and have a great day.